Good morning! How fun is this? I haven't vlogged in forever, but I wanted to just, I randomly decided to pick up the camera and here we are. Um, first of all, let me explain this situation on top of my head. This is called The Sway. It's by a company called Main Label and um, you wrap your hair up in it and it's supposed to make like wavy, curly hair um, and it has worked really well for me although it doesn't work as well when I shower the night before um, which I did last night so we'll see how that goes but anyway I wanted to bring you guys along with us for a day in the life um, today is Wednesday September 1st and we are at the apartment um, which if you don't know about this we live in two different locations because of my husband's job and it is summer and usually we aren't like necessarily at the apartment so much in the summer but Bjorn has had more army commitments this summer, so we've definitely been up here um, in the Twin Cities area more. I have a to-do list for today like I do most every day, and I am realizing I need to add to that probably grocery shopping. And usually I don't let things get like right to the end where we really desperately need groceries that day, but um, I just didn't really stay on top of it this weekend. Um, Bjorn was out of town for the weekend. He went home. I just stayed up. Um, at the apartment with the kids for that brief weekend and um, I guess just food planning wise I definitely need to pick up something else so hopefully we will fit that in today or maybe I will have to make that a priority and yeah I just wanted to take you along with us for the ride oh, we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life Okay, so this is how the curls or waves look when you put it in with wet hair. At least this is how it happens for me. It's a little tighter than I would like. Um, I do prefer it with like non-freshly washed hair and non-wet hair. I, I like dry hair. Um, but this is, I had to shower <laughs> and I wanted to still put it in. So the curls will loosen up a little bit more throughout the day, actually quite a bit. My hair doesn't always hold curl very tightly. So, um, we're going to go with this for today. In case you're wondering where the kids are, Bjorn is downstairs with the kids right now. He has army today, but, and he leaves pretty soon, but usually on these army days when he doesn't have to be there super early, he gets to have breakfast with the kids and he loves doing that. I like that alone time too for me to get ready a little bit um, without other distractions so that's where they are right now hi, hi you can say good morning good morning who is that pink bear it is pink bear hi pink bear do you want to see yourself pink bear <laughs> can i see myself you can right there you tell people how old you are three yeah and what will you be next four can you show four? Nice. Soren, can you say good morning? Good morning. <laughs> Soren is going to be two in November. Aren't you, big boy? What have you got, buddy? You're, yeah, your magnets. Are you making a tower? Nice. We did not clean up all of our toys and books last night. I usually do, but that did not happen last night. I was so tired. Dinosaur T-Rex. Oh, My wow. Favorite. It is your favorite. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. What do we have? Yeah. What is it? Boo. Is that a caterpillar? Mm -hmm. huh? So last night we went to a mm. local park and we found milkweed plants and a monarch caterpillar on them. So we took it home. Look at that. Do you see him? Even in the hot can weather any storm. Oops, that's, we'll just ah. 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 What is 
this say? How about this one? Okay, time to sound them out. Here we go. So Sophie has been really, really excited about her. It's called Doodles and Pre-Writing for Littles. And this is for from the Good and the Beautiful curriculum, which we are trying out this year in conjunction with um, Sunlight curriculum. This is a pre-writing handbook, workbook, and she has just been loving it so much. There's a lot of kind of drawing betw lines between dots or almost a mini maze. So here she was working on some spirals. Isn't that cool? And then they connect it. I love how they do like a fun illustration at the bottom. Um, so anyway, Sophie's been loving this and we do have book number two. This is book one coming in the mail. So we actually have more of Sophie's homeschool curriculum coming in the mail. Um, it dropped live on the Good and the Beautiful's website yesterday. So I ordered it yesterday. It's still gonna be like 10 days or whatever before we get it. I'm excited about that curriculum. We are combining it with this sunlight curriculum, which is in that box. Um, we did sunlight last year for Sophie's preschool level and this year we're doing pre-K level stuff. I'm just combining sunlight and the Good and the Beautiful to see how that works out for us and I'm really excited about it so far that handwriting booklet I showed you is just an add-on for from the good and the beautiful so I wanted to tell you guys a little about the this program that we do this is what you saw us doing on the couch it's called ABC see here do it's for ages 2 to 5 and this is something you can get on Amazon even it is this is the uppercase letters set the cool thing about this program is it teaches you letter sounds um, puts the letters at the top of the page um, just to increase familiarity with them and it teaches them with an animal character doing some kind of action. So this page doesn't go with the the bear page that I just showed you but every few sounds that you learn they have um, several words to sound out and they have the animal characters underneath and just I think for the little kids brains as they look back and forth between the um, pictures and the letters themselves it really helps them connect the dots and Sophie's been able to sound out multiple words and I'm so proud of her so yeah this is a really neat program I feel like it's really helped Sophie make great strides in her letter sounds it's just a way that she learns it well and so if you have a child age two to five you might want to try this too okay now that we're done with homeschool time um, the kids are playing together on the couch they play together really well actually uh, most of the time but I'm going to quickly whip together a meal plan and hopefully we can get grocery shopping before too long I'd like to really make that happen today I have my list written and we are loaded up and ready to go to the grocery store oh my goodness um, we just got done at the grocery store remind me not to do um, self checkout again I am not skilled at it or something but I have discovered as of today that I would much rather stand in a long line than have to scan all of my produce and everything myself it just took forever and the machine kept having problems and then it automatically calls for help and so you have to stand there and you can't continue scanning anything of course because you're it's struggling with the scale or some item. So anyway, that's just how life goes and we're going to probably get Chick-fil-A for lunch because that is what is easiest right now um, considering the time of day that it is and the fact that we ate all of our leftovers and then I ate more leftovers late last night <laughs> before bed. So we don't actually have meal stuff at home and I don't have time to make one of the meals that I planned. So, um, health food right but we're gonna head off I think to Chick-fil-a and bring hey. some of yeah and bring some of that home for lunch Soren what did you get what is it a puppy oh he's so excited I got the kids these little fruit punch who is it Elisa. we've never gotten those before so this is a very special day they were so patient though They really wanted to help. <laughs> Thanks for the help. All right, you know where to go. There we go. What do we always say when we get home? 
shoes off, coats off, wash your hands. Yeah, we need to wash your hands, okay? But thank you for getting your lunch ready. We're gonna wash Ooh, our hands. Look. What is it? Whoa. All right, let's wash. No, no, look. <laughs> I have this. How's the meal? It's really good. I usually get the kids a kid's meal of five chicken nuggets, Chick-fil-A nuggets, and we split them between the two kids and fries. And then I do like to get an extra chocolate milk because each of them can pretty much drink a whole chocolate milk. So that's pretty special, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I got a spicy Southwest salad. I've had it before and it is spicy. Like I think it's whatever's on the chicken. Like the spice rub is really spicy, but I like it still. It's really good. Um, that's what I got. I did add in five chicken nuggets for myself. And yeah, that'll be a good lunch. Sophie, can you tell us how, how do we know if it's a boy or a girl? If it's a boy, then it has two spots. If it's a girl, it doesn't have a spot. You're right. Like when it um, becomes a butterfly on the wings. Is that where the spots are? Yeah, awesome. This is how Soren shows me things. <laughs> I'm letting Sophie watch some Curious George right now. And Soren wanted to show me what he's been working on, huh? What is it? No. We're headed upstairs for nap time. Here we go. Look at that sun puddle on the floor. Can you step in it? Sure, does it feel warm? Oh, it feels so warm. I love when I find them like this. <laughs> I love your emphatic nod, Zorin. So what I do is I just set her up on her bed with her quiet time bin and then Sophie I say what do we do when we start to feel sleepy yeah and then she shows me she lays down and she is really good about um, kind of self assessing <laughs> if she needs to lay down but I do actually close the curtains um, and the blinds most of the way so it's kind of dimly lit in here so it's quiet calm playtime got you yes exactly get it more dim in here and then they can rest soren's usually good about falling asleep right away okay it's 1 35 p.m and the kids are you know you just saw i <laughs> put them a two bed upstairs but they're obviously not asleep yet but sophie probably falls asleep every other day um for a while too like at least an hour so we'll see how that goes today i just threw the laundry downstairs brought my computer cord downstairs i will never probably be someone who brings laundry down the stairs in a basket i just kind of toss it over whatever railing we have um here at the apartment it's a two level apartment so we do have stairs and i love it because it makes it feel more homey so this time of day is my um not only like throw laundry in the machine time but it is my quiet time, um, computer work time. And I have a blog, I have obviously this YouTube channel, which I haven't been updating that much throughout the summer, but I have been doing, you know, emails, posts on Instagram, and just all sorts of behind the scenes stuff, especially that I've been working on for the past several months and I'm excited about it. I'd love to share more, um, hopefully soon. So we usually clean up a bit before nap time or bedtime. Those are our two main tidy up times. We obviously did not do that very well before nap time today. So that's something I am going to be doing. You can hear the washing machine over there, which by the way, having a washing machine in an apartment is such a blessing like we have a washer and dryer 
and I'm just so so grateful that that was something I like searched and searched for making sure we would have that so that's been wonderful but yeah we have some stuff to put away I have some stuff I'm going to put away because I feel like once the apartment is tidy and calm it allows me to work on some stuff I wanted to do some computer work today I've also been reading a book about homeschooling um, called brave learner or the brave learner and I've been really enjoying it so I hope to fit in a few minutes of reading that too a lot better around here um, that Ikea table needs to go I'm thinking of selling it because I got Sophie and Soren that new art table I got them this on Facebook marketplace and it's a pottery barn kids table and I'm so pleased with it but we do need to figure out what to do with that Ikea table okay this is random I'm not a fashion person or blogger or whatever but I have these this pair of joggers that I got from American Eagle that I'm wearing today and I just love them so much because I get in a rut with just wearing my skinny jeans and a graphic tee that's usually like my summer uniform that or jean shorts and a t-shirt which is fine but I'm really excited about these joggers I think they I mean they're, they've been so awesome so far I've had them for a couple months and they're like my favorite ever so here's a little look at them. They already got kind of dirty today, but um, they're a light sage olivey green, like pretty light, almost grayish. And I don't know how the color's showing up, but I think it's fairly accurate. They are green though. And I love how they're a little bit like cargo pants and they have kind of that jogger bottom here. And yeah, I just, I recommend them. They're from American Eagle. If I can find a link to them, I will link them below because I think it's always nice to find something that's comfortable, but kind of mixes things up a little bit. Guess what guys, Bjorn's cousin who lives in the Twin Cities area and we've done play dates with her little one. Um, she's the best but anyway she just texted me and said that she and her husband have too much food that they made for today and could they drop off some for us look what she gave us it is this pasta bake with cheese on top and instructions i seriously am so touched and i keep thinking i didn't even have a baby <laughs> like she brought us food and now we have stuff for supper tonight um again i'm just like so touched i thought that was the sweetest thing Daddy's home. Mm -hmm. Do you have a good rest? Daddy's gonna go for a run. Sophie's biggest request these days is to print out unicorn coloring sheets. Right, honey? So today I gave in, printed out a bunch. This should last us a while. <laughs> Soren's working hard on a, is it a zoo? Good job, buddy. We ate a quick supper and everyone's back to playtime. Okay, this is one of my favorite types of evenings. Bjorn's watching the kids, they're having a movie night, and I am off to Starbucks. Okay, so the Starbucks I was going to go to, the one I usually go to, is closed today. So I'm parked here at Barnes & Noble because they have a Starbucks um, cafe. I'm not super picky about the Starbucks part. I just, that's what I am used to and what I like. But they have a cafe in here, and I'm going to sit and work in the Barnes & Noble. Hey guys, I left um, Starbucks at Barnes & Noble, and I'm here at a local park looking for milkweed because Bjorn requested that I do that as part of my errands on the way home. <laughs> so in other words, it's a typical night um, in the life of a mom, right? I'm not super skilled in this, but I am definitely going to walk around and look for milkweed because our caterpillar needs more food. 
maybe this is some here. Maybe I'll bring some home and have Bjorn tell me if I did it right, or I guess I could Google it. But anyway, like I said, I'm not a naturalist. <laughs> I will continue looking a little longer, but it is getting dark. I don't know how it's showing up here, but it's definitely getting dark. I think I found some. We will see. This will be really kind of embarrassing if I'm super wrong. But I'm showing you what I found, and we will see if this is correct. I also wanted to get some sticks for our caterpillar, Rinny, to climb on. All right, it's about 8.20. Um, I've gone upstairs because the kids are still awake a little bit, and I retucked them in and gave them hugs and kisses. And I checked with Bjorn and with the caterpillar, and it is milkweed after all, and we've got that in there. But I'm going to end the vlog here. This is the time of night when we usually are just relaxing, watching shows, eating a snack. So I'm just gonna finish right now. Um, because the rest of our evening is just kind of relaxation time. But thank you so much for coming along with us today. It's been a really fun day of random things. I hope it gave you a fun peek into our day-to-day -day life as much as um, it ebbs and flows even based on where we're living, if we're here at the apartment or in um, our house in southern Minnesota. But I hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more day-to-day -day, um, peeks at our life, you can follow along with me on Instagram too. So hope you're having a great day wherever you're at and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!